Jason, I'm sorry we don't have a whole lot of time, but I do want to get the chance to talk to you. What did you want to talk about today? Well, um, I'm an agnostic, and I struggle with the question when a Christian comes to me and says, well, what other excuses is, is there for the 12 disciples that risked their lives and some of them died horrible deaths, uh, you know, for their faith? And, and why would they do that unless they saw Jesus rise again the next day? Mm -hmm. and, uh, to me, I, I don't really have a good answer for that. And I was, I mean, I was wondering your guys' opinion on that. So there's yeah. the snarky answer, um, <laughs> which I've seen on plenty of Facebook threads, which is that makes them exactly like the 9-11 bombers who truly believed and acted on that truly held conviction in killing themselves so that they could do, you know what I mean? Um, but I think that there are probably other examples that won't cause people to have such a viscerally, you know, backfire reaction. And that is that you can honestly hold a belief and be wrong about it. But there's another part, part to this that I think that either the people telling you this, that, 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 are, that are giving you this answer to your questions don't know or are hoping you don't know, which is that we have very little evidence of how the 12 disciples, if they all existed, died and whether or not their belief in the resurrected Christ factored into it. And how, like there, there has been a mythology built up after the fact uh, in terms of, oh, this is how Thomas died. He went to India and they killed him there. And then this is how Peter died. And he was, you know, crucified upside down because he didn't want to die like Christ. And like all of these things, like, we've, we've, we've built these mythologies but these are not biblical. These are not things that are in the Bible. So even if people who are Christians who believe the Bible say these things, they are using sources that they themselves have rejected as being non-canonical. So yes, Eric's point, and also even saying that grants them so much ground that you do not need to be granting. Fair. I would definitely recommend uh, checking out Paula Gia's channel, P-A-U-L-I-G-I-A, I think, O-G-I-A? -O um, uh, O-G-I-A. <clears throat> Paula Gia, yes. Um, Paula Gia does an entire um, series on this exact question and addresses all of the biggest uh, objections by apologists. Uh, so that's where I learned the majority of my... Uh, information from on this topic and it's fascinating exactly how much uh we don't know and assume we do so uh i'd say yeah people can die for for honestly held beliefs all the time it doesn't mean that the thing is true also don't grant them the fact that all the 12 disciples did die for jesus that's not backed up that's not something they'd be able to actually stand by if they did the research so check out apologia um and call us back if you have other questions. Okay. Thanks for your help. Thank you. For sure. Thanks, Jason. Nice. I love You're it right. when I get to plug some people. I've got I've got a couple faves that I just like hammer home. Well, <laughs> I I do know that uh, one of my new faves is uh, how to skeptic. Um, <laughs> uh, this uh, this androgynous cat cyborg uh, does the show about uh, how to do research. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. You should check it out. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll check that out. I hear they're doing a collaboration with uh, Objectively Dan on Conspiracy Theories. Too. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> There's also this show called, uh, we, we referenced it earlier, Murphy's Law. And that's actually tied fairly tightly into the talk heathen concept because the hosts of that show actually get together and talk about uh, previous callers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.